I would like to ask Michel Marquet, the father of the groom, to say a few words for, to you. Well, I will start in English first, if you don't mind. All right? <laughs> for our English-speaking friends. Well, really, we are very touched by all the people who have come to join us on this occasion. We have people from all over the world out here. We have people from the United States, we have people from the UK, we have people from Belgium over there, we have people from Zurich, from everywhere. So we are terribly grateful to you, all of you, all our members of the family, and all our great friends from over there. All right? We are all here today to celebrate the union of this beautiful couple. But I would like to tell you the circumstances to start with. In other words, I would like to give you the heart of the matter. And the heart of the matter started long time ago. It started in 1945. It started in 1945. We are now in the summer of 45. And the war in Europe is finally over. And everybody is celebrating. This is the greatest time of Europe after the Second World War. And there, in Paris, there is this young man. His name is Jean Carpentier. And he has just graduated from the medical school of Paris. He has finished his internship. He's a full medical doctor. And there is peace in Europe. So, he's wondering what is he going to do next. And then he's not asking what his country should do for him. But he's asking what he should do for his country. John Federal Kennedy. Okay. And while the, the war is over in Europe, the war is still raging in the Pacific. The Japanese are fighting still very, very hard. All right? So the French, the French government the eventually decides that they should send an army all the way to the Far East and to Indochina, especially, specifically actually, to liberate Indochina, which has been invaded by the Japanese. Okay? So Jean Carpentier, medical doctor, he joins the army as a medical doctor and he's immediately ranked as lieutenant colonel. And off they go on the ships from Marseille all the way to Saigon. Of course, to travel from Marseille to Saigon by ships takes a little longer from uh, the trip you took yourself by plane. <laughs> and a couple of months before the, the, uh, the French army arrived in Saigon. But by then, the Japanese have surrendered. They have capitulated following the, the Nagasaki disaster. So when they arrive in Saigon, actually well, the only thing they have to do is to collect weapons from the Japanese and to send them back home. And that's what is happening to our Jean Carpentier. 
Jacques Carpentier arrives in Saigon and he's going to discover the mysteries and the wonders of the Far East in general and of Indochina in particular. So he's stationed for a few months in Saigon. And then his unit is moved to Tainin. Some of us went to Tainin last week. Okay? He goes to Tainin as a medical doctor in the French army. And that's where it all happens. That's where it all happens in the sense that that's where he's going to meet this beautiful Vietnamese girl, this tremendous lady who is going to be his wife. And out of this union will be my beloved wife, the great Catherine. Okay, for the rest, I think you all know the story. Okay, what I meant actually is that now Charles has followed the steps of his grandfather and he's married also this lovely, beautiful Vietnamese girl. Please, <laughs> I love you. So the circle is closed. That circle is closed. That's it, we are there. So I'm sure you will uh, join me in wishing this beautiful couple the greatest thing on this world, which is huge love. Wish them a long river of happiness and many children. <laughs> okay? Thank you very much. <laughs>